Hello and welcome to the Excel VBA tutorial for beginners. In the previous video we've seen how to use message and input boxes to show information and get feedback and input from users. In this video we'll go one step further and create our own dialog boxes with Excel user forms. User forms are VBA programmable custom forms used to display information and get input from users. Excel offers a broad choice of buttons, boxes and other controls to create very powerful forms. Let me show you some examples. This is a mortgage calculator in Excel and to update the values we have a user form here where the user can enter the loan amount, the interest rate, uh, loan term and, and so on. And this will be updated in the table for the uh, for the formulas to, to make the calculations of the total interest and total payments. This other example is a service desk manager. So here we have user forms to edit the information for a particular incident and we have text boxes, combo boxes with drop downs um, and then from here we have several buttons we can also check the log for this particular incident um, and, and we can, of course, also create a new incident here, uh, fill in the data, and, and so on and so forth. This other example is a Forex tester in Excel. And here we have also some user forms to, for example, to create a new project. And from here we can import the data. This would set up a, a new dialog to import data. In this, in this case, we have euro dollar, so we could import um, other currencies. And then we could set the start date for, for the project to start, and what is the deposit, and the, and the lot size, and all of those things. And we could also place a new order here. And this is another user form where we can uh, either uh, buy or sell, uh, I mean we can place a market order or a pending order and here we have also on top of those uh, combo boxes we've seen earlier we have also spin buttons here to set the stop loss and the take profit and and the last example is the Excel Sudoku Pro where we also have some user forms to upload and download the puzzle so for example this is another user form where we can uh, select the level uh, of the puzzles we want to download. We have the list of puzzles here in a list box in this case and for each we will get the information here on the on the right hand side. Now let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a user form. As we've seen earlier in this tutorial, user forms can be inserted into the VBA project in the same way we insert modules. So either here or here insert user form. The user form folder shows up in the VVA Project Explorer and a user form template appears in the code window. And if we double click on the form or on any of the elements, we don't have any elements just yet, we get to the code window where we can write code here for the user form. We'll get to that later. So the user form gets by default the name user form 1, user form 2, etc. as we keep adding them. The name can be changed in the properties window. The caption, also user form one by default, can also be changed here. So the properties window is especially helpful when working with user forms because it shows and allows to set all parameters of the user form easily and quickly. As you see here, we can change the background color, the borders, color and style, um, the caption, the font name, the font color, the position, uh, the dimensions, and many and many other properties. The properties window also shows properties for each of the controls added to the form. Those controls show up in the toolbox when clicking anywhere in the user form. See here the controls include, for example, labels, text boxes, combo or list boxes, or also check boxes, command buttons, speed buttons, and some other. You can add any control by just dragging it into the form. So as an example, let's create a user form to request user information prior to proceed with a registration macro. Let's drag two labels. One will be the name and the other the department. We can change that here in the properties window, um, just the caption. Then a text box for the name, 
and a combo box for the department. And the two command buttons to submit and cancel the form. A user form can be called out from any VBA procedure using the show method of the user form object, specifying the user form name. Let's change the user form name to registration form and also the caption here to registration. And then in a standard module, we'll have the macro user registration. And the first thing it's going to do is to show the user form. So re registration form dot show. Let's add a button in the worksheet to run this macro. Button assign user registration. So that's how it looks like. Now your users can input name and department and submit the form. But for now, the form doesn't do anything because we didn't write any code yet. Also, the department dropdown doesn't show any values just yet. Let's see how we do all that. The user form code window opens when double clicking in the form or in any of the controls added. If we double click on the form, here we get the code window and here on the top left we have user form and on the right we can see all the events applicable to the user form. The user form click event procedure shows up by default as we click the form but any other events can be selected. So we have just seen the user form events, but there is a different set of events for each of the controls, in some cases very similar or the same. The first thing we'll do is to get the initialize event, and we can remove the click event for now. The initialize event of the user form can be used to set properties or values into user form fields prior to being shown to the user. We may want to fill in some information in some of the fields of, uh, of the user form, such as a text box, or set a list of items for a list box or a combo box. All of that would be part of the user form initialize event procedure. In this example, we want to populate the combo box with available departments to choose. So let's add an array of departments to the dropdown with the list method of the combo box. Note that combo box one is the default name given, but we could change that to any other more relevant name. So let's call it department box. Let's change also the other box. Let's call it name box. So for department box dot list equals an array with, for example, we're going to have finance, comma, um, human resources, marketing and production. Let's show now the user form and see how that looks like. So now the user can enter the name and select a department from the list. Username and department are parameters we want to capture and probably store in a variable or write directly into the worksheet. We will probably want to do that when the user clicks submit. So let's change the name which by default is command button one to submit button. And let's change also the name for the cancel button to cancel button or PTN. And this is not required. You can go on with the default name, but it's better to keep things organized, especially as the code or the macro grows. Now, if we click the button, we get to the event procedure where we can write code that will run when the user clicks submit. In this example, we're going to add the name and department to two variables. So let's declare it uname as a string and udept as a string. Then we use the value property of the respective boxes or fields to assign the input value. So uname equals name box dot value and udept equals depth box dot value. And if we want to write the values into the worksheet, we just write range a2, for example, dot value equals u name, range b2 equals u depth, 
and uh, range C2 equals uh, submitted, for example. And then let's write here in the worksheet name, department, here, and request. And finally, we close the form, and we do that with unload. We can write unload registration form or just unload me, as we are in the code window of the user form module. The same statement could be applied to the click event of the cancel button. So if we click here, cancel, unload me, and that will close the, the form when the user cancels. And here's our user form. So we can enter the name, John Smith uh, Department, for example, and then submit, and here's the request. So that was an intro to user forms, and we've seen how to create a simple user form with Excel VBA. In the next video, we'll talk about debugging and error handling. See you there.